Hello, this is Savage Jim, and this is my new review of set number 4208, the LEGO City 4x4 fire truck. This set retails for $20, and it is a 243-piece set, so for the benchmark of $0.10 cents a piece, you are definitely ahead when you purchase this one. Now, it is two, uh, 2013, January, and this is from the 2012 lineup, and from what I understand, this set is no longer in print and will not be sold anymore once uh, all stocks are sold off. So if you can find them in any store, uh, go ahead and grab them up while they're still there. This is the instruction book. It looks pretty big. It is 78 pages. And uh, the set itself is uh, contained in two bags with, with two smaller pouches within each bag. As you can see here in the instructions booklet. And it also does contain uh, about five or six stickers, uh, not too many of them, so that's definitely a bonus. Too many stickers tends to ruin the kit for me. That's just my personal opinion. As you can see here, you do get one minifigure, uh, a couple of accessories, and the truck itself. And let's go ahead and go over these in a little bit more detail here. Uh, we have the firefighter, and he has a uh, front and leg printing as well as back printing. He does come with this nifty hat. I really like I really like the firefighter hats that LEGO does include with their with their LEGO City Fireman sets. And he does have a rather funky facial expression there like Well did I eat that bad muffin this morning? Did somebody pee in my Cheerios? Ugh, what does that taste? Oh well These are his accessories. They do come on this uh, this equipment tray here. This equipment pallet. Let's go over each one of these in detail. Let's start with this coffee mug. If I could get a focus on it. It's rather straightforward. Got to have his coffee in the morning before he goes off and fight fires. Otherwise, he's going to be pretty grumpy. Either that or he's panhandling. Oh well. On his equipment tray, he also has a fire axe. And he has a gas mask and respirator with a facial shield as well as an oxygen tank. Let me go ahead and put that on him to show you. Sorry for not holding him more clearly to the camera lens here. It, my camera is refusing to cooperate. And of course, once he has all that, he simply puts on his helmet above his respirating gear. And there you go. Look at that. That's really nifty. Of course, he's not going to be able to drink from his mug while he's wearing his equipment. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll make that work. Up at the shield. And now he may drink. He just does have he does have to take off his firefighting helmet. His equipment tray does go in the truck, and uh, we'll go over that later. Let's go ahead and equip him. Take away his fire mug. Take away his firefighter's mug. Sorry, breaks over. And there he goes. That's what he looks like when he's ready to go to work. Also included in the set is this really nifty tree, which has these uh, opaque pieces. These uh, clear, uh, they look like stained glass from a church. So they give this uh, illusion of uh, fire flames in the trees on fire. Really nice if you ask me. And the centerpiece of the set itself, the 4x4 fire truck. 
Just give it a good 360 around it. Very nice detailing. Underside and the roof. There are several stickers. I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six stickers altogether. Not too many. Everything else has a printed piece to it. I like what the set designer did here. Made the front and back look really nice. License plate JM4208. 4208 of course being the set number. JM, I guess that's for Jim. As in Savage Jim. Cool. Now for the playability features. Uh, the doors do function and open and close. Oops, open that and close that too much. Oops. Can't get too rough with it. Rear view mirrors, they do angle in and out. The roof comes off. It's just held by this front row studs over here so that you could put the firefighter in his driver's seat inside the truck. Let's go ahead and do that right now. One firefighter. Oh, get in there. <clears throat> On the roof, you have this uh, automatic nozzle, I don't know what it is, robotic or remotely controlled firefighting hose up here. And it has this uh, blue opaque piece to represent water gushing out. There you go. It elevates up and down and traverses 360 degrees left or right. Very nice feature. I really like this truck. Uh, it resembles a, a Humvee with a, with a utility cargo base here. Let me show you these. You have a front or a mid, a mid vehicle and a rear cargo access doors. And these, these doors are actually on both sides of the vehicle. Now inside the middle compartment here you have a secondary seat. So if you have another firefighter, you could stick him right there. And he does have a control panel. I guess that's where to get the emergency calls and that's also their GPS so that they could respond to you wherever the fire is occurring. And this is the cool part about the rear cargo bay doors. The rear cargo is where you take the firefighter's accessories and you put it back here. That's his gas mask, his axe, and his and his respirator tank. You put that all in there and show you how it goes. On the on his crate here, his uh, his pallet. He does have these uh, he does have these railings on both sides of the pallet piece, and it goes into those little U slots right there. Slides right on in, just like that. You just simply close the doors on both sides, left and right side, there you go. And you can access and pull that out on either side of the vehicle, very nice if you ask me. Also you do have these handles over here, so if you have another firefighter buddy, this is uh, from another set, he is a firefighter motorcycle man, simply grab onto the side there and ready to go. Ready to respond to an emergency. I don't know if he wants to ride like that though. But hey, what do you expect? This pretty much concludes my review. I really do enjoy this set. Uh, I really like the looks of the truck. It does give an appearance of uh, looking like an H2 or an H3 Hummer by General Motors. And, uh, and also the uh, playability of the set itself and there's a lot you know a lot of features for it. for twenty dollars I say this is a really good bargain so in my books I say this deserves an A plus if y'all enjoyed the review uh, please comment and like below and if you have any other ideas please comment